How can I activate and conduct a Lyme survey survey? Hi, my name is Paul Borsdorf. I am an authorized Lyme survey partner and offer services related to Lyme survey, such as survey creation, individual support, or workshops. For example, let's say you've created a complete survey, here's the structure, and you want to run the survey now. The first step is then to go to the settings in the overview and then you have this button up here to activate the survey. As soon as you have clicked on it, you will now receive information that as soon as the survey has been activated, no questions, question groups, etc. More can be added, but the questions can still be worked on, i.e. the texts and so on. What you can no longer change are these settings here for notifications and data. You can also find them here in the follow-up menu and you will be asked whether the answers should be anonymized. You can turn it on here, but I have to say that it doesn't matter in open polls anyway. So if you have an open survey where participants don't have to enter an access key or anything like that, you have anonymized answers anyway. If you turn this on here, however, there is a small info text on the home page that the survey is anonymous. Then you can turn a date stamp on or off here and whether an IP address should be stored and whether it should be anonymized, whether timing should be stored, i.e. how long the respondents need for the individual survey pages and whether a referral URL should be stored, i.e. a website from which people were forwarded to the survey. You can see that everything is switched off here. This is the default setting with the highest data economy, so to speak. So you should leave it that way, unless you really need the date stamp or something similar for a certain application. Then you can set here whether you want to stay in open access mode or whether you want to switch to closed access mode. By default, you can stay in open access mode here. This means that all people who have the survey link can also take part in the survey. Alternatively, you can go into closed access mode here. I'll show that right now. Then you get a message that in this closed survey mode you first have to define the participants and then individual survey links are created or created for the individual participants, so to speak. Participants will be sent individual access keys so that they can then take part in the survey. I now continue to show the open access mode. By clicking continue in open access mode, the survey is now activated and the survey can be carried out by the respondents. There are now two ways you can invite participants to the survey. The simplest variant is to simply copy this link here and then forward it to the respondents. Alternatively, you can click on open sharing panel here and then generate a QR code here, which the respondents can then use to take part in the survey. Well, once they have collected all the answers, they can stop the poll here. There are now two different options. So it's important to take a look at this. Detailed information is also written down. One is to end the survey temporarily. All answers are retained there. This means that nothing will be deleted from the survey. The only thing that happens is that no one can take part in the survey anymore. The other is to disable polling. It's important to remember that all participant information and all answers from the survey will really be deleted there, and that makes more sense if you want to change or revise the survey again, for example after a test run or if you have already exported the answers. That is, usually the step here would be to go to the poll and say, okay, no one is allowed to take part in the poll anymore. But before I deactivate this at some point later, it is of course important to take a look at the answers first. You now have two different options for this. You can either go to statistics here, I have also created a separate video about this, or you can go to answers here, look at the answer list and especially export the answers. I have also created various videos for this. You have many different options, for example to export the answers to Excel or, for example, to SPSS. So much for a small insight into activating, conducting and ending surveys. If you have any questions or need support, please feel free to contact me. My page is linked below.